Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say a happy new year and thank you all so much for your amazing support. I'm gonna do a Q&A video today. Um, thank you guys so much for the absolutely amazing questions and let's get started. First question, how are you feeling mentally? I'm doing wonderful, you know, I can't complain at all. Um, I think this just this past year, uh, was just how tough it was, just being able just to focus, you know, on, it's learning just to control the controllables, you know, because I had a lot of dreams and aspirations of things I wanted to achieve and do, and I didn't get to do that, but everything's on God's timing, you know, not man's timing. And just learning to just control the controllables was just a wonderful thing, and just, well, it was a great lesson to learn. And just being back home with my family, that's just been so uh, just mentally refreshing, you know, it's kind of... Um, like like a re hitting the restart button, reset button. So when I get, uh, get back in January, I'm gonna be hitting the ground running. And but I'm just I'm doing wonderful. Can't complain. Um, just doing everything I can. You know that's why I exercise so much. Just it's so great for me mentally. Just to have that stress reliever. That's why I'm a big bookworm. I love reading. Uh, just having those outlets uh, outside of sports as well. Great question. Question two. How did you keep yourself in shape for this upcoming season when you didn't play in 23? Well, I have to give all the credit to Coach Mo and the best strength staff in the country, Coach Mo, Coach RT, Coach T, Coach Houston, uh, those guys, Coach Reyes, those guys helped to keep me in shape. You know, I, I, I've worked out with the, the non-travel guys, so we were in there more than the guys that traveled. Um, every single day, we were getting a workout in after practice or before. I try to go in towards the end of the season, I go in before, but just every day getting in there working. You know, and not even that, but Coach Mo poured into me and the staff poured into me, you know, not just, you know, in my physical build, but also like maturing as a man. My, um, They're always ha asking about my mental health, checking on me to make sure I was good. And like, I'm so appreciative of him and everything that they did for me just this past fall because they, they made it fun for me every single day, you know, to go in there and work with them because I wasn't, you know, I was progressing, I was getting better and I was focusing on getting right for the uh, this upcoming season. But also they were, I knew they cared about me as a person. And that to me is just the biggest thing. I think that's like the biggest piece of advice I give kids going to the next level is find a staff that pours into you, that cares about you off the field as much as they care about you, you know, when you're on the field and you're producing and playing for them. And the Colorado staff, they do a phenomenal job of everyone, they genuinely care about you as a person, not just as a product on the field. And I, I can't thank them enough for that. And again, Coach Mo, shout out to Coach Mo, the best strength uh, coach in the country. What is your college major? I am a speech pathology major. I picked this major, I think my senior year of high school, I kind of knew I wanted to do this. So my mom, she's a, a speech therapist and I was shadow her at work all the time. So at first I really wanted to be a doctor growing up, but I was petrified of blood. And then like being in an enclosed space, you know, in a hospital or like that, I don't know. I just, I like a job where I can move around and do stuff. Um, I didn't want to be in school forever. And then, you know, I had found out what my mom did. I, I, at first, you know, I knew it. I always knew she was a speech therapist, but I didn't really, you know, care until I was like, dang, what do I want to do? Cause I really do also want to write books as well. That's on my uh, bucket list of things. I also want to voice act too. I know it's probably shocking. Um, I love that in like video games and cartoons. I've always loved, you know, voice like that, those sort of things. Uh, but definitely being a speech pathology major is kind of the best of both worlds. I love helping people and I love, you know, trying to impact young kids and influence them in their lives and help them be better in whatever ways I can and help to be a positive impact on them. And I absolutely just, I love that field and like just, I've loved all my classes, um, all my professors, they've been so encouraging. It's hard too, it's really, really hard, you know? And also I picked it because like I hate math and I knew I'd only take one math class and I made a C in statistics. That's my one C in college was statistics. And <laughs> um, that's okay, you live and you learn. But it was, it, that was the also another leading factor was I want to take as, uh, the least amount of math classes as possible. Question four. Who's your favorite Marvel character? That's an awesome question. See, I don't have all my big, I, all my big comics are back home, but it has to be Spider-Man. And number two, a close second is the Hulk. You know, I, I relate to both those characters, but, um, well, I'm just gonna keep this out. I've, you know, I've been a big Spider-Man fan ever since I was a kid. You know, I just remember going to my grandparents' house um, after school or whenever I wasn't with my parents, just watching Spider-Man one and two with Toby. Toby's the best. 
I, I don't think that's controversial. Maybe it's controversial. I don't know, but Toby's my Spider-Man. Grew up with him. You know, I remember 2007 when Spider-Man 3 dropped and he used to have those little bobbleheads. And like they, at uh, the McDonald's and Burger King, they sell like these little miniature Spider-Man toys. And I remember just going, begging my parents to go so I could collect as many as possible. I wish I knew where they were, but couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, it's always been Spider-Man. Been the biggest Spider-Man fan my whole life. Spider-Man memorabilia all over the house. And yeah, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character. DC, definitely Batman. Then Green Lantern, but definitely Batman. Question five. All right. What position did you play in high school football and how much did you weigh? So this is pretty funny. Uh, I played right tackle, left tackle, nose tackle, defensive tackle, and defensive end. So I went to a small private uh, uh, private Catholic school. Shout out to St. Joseph Catholic High School in Madison, Mississippi. Love my school. I went there and uh, we didn't have a lot of people, which is fine. Um, but you know, we were a close family. Uh, we, we were a small group, but we we played hard, you know, and I love those guys to death, even to this day. And I played everywhere. So like my first time actually playing guard was the all-star game in um, Gulfport, Mississippi, the North South all-star game. Thankfully me and my teammate, Keenan Harrison, we were invited to that game uh, after our senior year. And I got moved to right guard. And that was my very first time playing guard. My first fight got a pancake. So I obviously did something right. Um, but how much should I weigh? I was a big kid in high school, I'm not even gonna lie. I was definitely a solid 290, 295. It was like a fluffy 290, you know, like now I'm like a swoller, 300 pound guy, but yeah, I was a fluffy, fluffy 290. You know, my mom, she, I would always bring salads and stuff, but then I'd always sneak off to the vending machines to get Skittles and honey buns and stuff. So it was kind of, you know, yeah, it was, I definitely appreciate how rigorous she was growing up with the food and the things that I put in my body because now it's really paying dividends for me on the field. But back then, yeah, I was, I did, I did all the wrong stuff, but thankfully now I do all the right stuff. Um, question six, shout out to my guy, Charlie, best pancake block. I was thinking about this for a minute and it, it's definitely when I was at Jackson State, we were playing Texas Southern in Houston and I loop, it was a it was a pull play. I was at left guard. I pull around the corner. I think I have it on my. It's somewhere. I have the video. There's a video of it. I pull around the corner. Savion Wilkerson running back's running behind me, and I just lay out the linebacker, and then I jump on top of him, and I just hear the crowd roar as Savion's just running, you know, running towards the end zone. I, that that was just that was my favorite block because it was like finally, fine because I'd be wanting to pull and just demolish somebody all year. But just it was just it was so perfect, you know. And I just saw him tumble to the ground, just jumped on him and threw my forearm onto him, and that was that was my pain. That was my favorite pancake block so far. But hopefully, well, actually not hopefully, I will have definitely some better ones at Colorado this year. All right. Question seven. Biggest lesson you've learned in 2023. What are you most excited for in 2024? I think the biggest lesson I learned in 2023, honestly, was patience and control the controllables and that not everything's going to happen when you want it to. Sometimes you have to wait for those things to happen. And when life doesn't go your way, just take it one step at a time because there were so many days I was frustrated. I was angry. I cry, you know, I would, I just, I, there was just so many emotions. I was like, why me? Why me? And then after you just kind of see how things play out and how things um, go, it's sort of like, okay, maybe this is why this happened. You know, I was always kind of asking like, why this happened? Why this happened at first? And But just the Colorado staff again, Coach Gunn, Coach Miss Lauren, Coach Prime, um, and so many other people, Coach Mo poured into me and made sure I was okay mentally, uh, physically. And they, they really helped me as well, but definitely just controlling the controllables and taking stuff one step at a time. And what am I most excited for in 2024? Protecting my quarterback, being able to go out there and play and contribute and help the guys. You know, that was the hardest thing is just having to sit back and not be able to help them and contribute and try to do what I can to help the team win. So being able to help the team win in 2024 and protect my guys, number two, that's, that's what I'm most excited for in 2024. Okay, question eight. 
Who is a guy on the team that is underrated or deserves more love from the fan base? I would definitely, there's like three people that come to mind for sure. Uh, Cameron Silman Craig, number seven, one of our defensive backs. He had a phenomenal year for us. You know, Cam comes to like every single day, Cam's the exact same guy and just his approach to practice, and his approach to the game. It's, he's just so consistent. And I think he deserves a lot more love and appreciation when the guy that transferred from Jackson State to Colorado. And I think he's done a phenomenal job. You know, when he didn't start, he didn't complain. He just worked. And when he got the job, he kept the job. And he's just continued to grind. I love the way Cam works. And Cam definitely deserves a lot more love from the fan base. Also, Mark Bassett, for sure, our punter. Consistent man. The same guy every single day. It's great energy. Love the way he works. Um, just we know we can always count on him in a pinch to, you know, get the get the ball where we need it to be. And he does a phenomenal job. And definitely, of course, Charlie Offerdahl. I love Charlie. I love the way he approaches practice. He's always smiling. He's always happy. He works his tail off every single day. And Charlie definitely deserves a lot more love from the fan base. Question nine. When did you know you loved football? That's a, that's a really great question. So, football was always something I did. Um, you know, like, I was always pretty good. Like, this is from when I was, like, an ele elementary school, you know. Like, my dad just kind of put some pads on me and just threw me out there. Um, and um, it was just kind of something I just did. You know, like, it wasn't, you know, it was just like, you know, it was just something I was, I was just always a big kid. So, I just was doing football. But it really wasn't until, like, 11th grade. Where I was like, no, really, I'd say sophomore year, after my first game starting at tackle in high school, I was like, this is fun. I love this. Like, this is great. You know, that was, I think, the turning point for me where really my junior year was when I was like, I really love this, you know. And I had coaches like like Coach Chaz Ramsey, my trainer. She's been training me since I was in eighth grade, I believe. And just him explaining the, the intricacies of the game and that it wasn't just this big dumb thing where we just go around hitting each other that was I think the difference maker just how like football really is a thinking man's game and just how tough offensive line is and just all the different sets and how to get your hands like it's something that I'd never be perfect at but something I could always continue to strive to be perfect at and be great at every single day and that's what helped me to really fall in love with it so it was really like my junior year where I was like I love this I really really actually enjoy this it's not just something I do anymore it's actually something I look forward to doing Okay, what, question 10, I believe. What is your favorite movie? Why is it your favorite? Okay, so I'm a big horror movie fan. I know that I think I might shock some people. I know it's not everybody's forte, but I think Cabin in the Woods is my favorite because that was actually the first horror movie I was forced to watch with my friend Jack Winstead. We were um, one of my best friends. He lives in Louisiana now. He's a big has an awesome movie collection and he put it on. I was terrified, but just, I guess like all the tropes, either, it's either Cabin in the Woods or it's Scream. I love Scream. It's, it, it, it's really either or. Um, and like just all the stereo, like all the stereotypical horror movie characters and how that's portrayed and how the movie does it. And it's one of those movies where you catch something new every single time you watch it. And I love that. Um, I absolutely love that. And again, with Scream, I love how you try to figure out who the killer is the entire time. And I, I it's like it's like Scooby-Doo, but the adult version, you know, um, and I really love Scream. And I also, of course, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire can be up there, too, for some of my favorite movies. Um, question 11. How did you make yourself endure the season knowing you can't play? Like, how did you keep yourself motivated without wanting to quit? Did you have any bad days that something in the back of your mind said, yo, just stop? Oh, absolutely. I'm human. I'd be lying to you if I said every day was a great day. It was not. I I will admit there are some days I did not handle the not being able to play well, um, not being not being able to play the best. Um, but thankfully, I had people, Coach Prime, Miss Lauren, um, Coach White, uh, Coach Mo, so many people that were checking on me, making sure I was okay. And they just showed me a lot of grace on those days that it was very, very bad. Cause they just, they know I care. I genuinely do care. And it's just so frustrating not being able to help my guys out there. But not every day was a great day. I of course had some days where it was just like, 
I didn't want to get out of bed. You know, there were some days I did not get out of bed. I, you know, it was, um, that's, I, I know that sounds pretty, that sounds terrible to say. It was just some days that I was just like, man, you know, like, what am I doing? I just felt like I was stuck. I felt like I was really just stuck in life. Like, I, I wasn't really progressing, you know. I felt like I was just kind of going through the motions. But just, I, just those people pouring into me. Um, my teammates pouring into me and just like showing me how much like my presence mattered to them that that meant the world to me you know I mean it was really like trying to help the guys in any way I can be successful was what got me out of bed a lot of days because I really wanted to do it for them because I knew it was hard to do it for me uh, um, a lot of the time just doing it for them just remembering where I want to be remembering my dream remembering what I want to achieve so Definitely, that's what motivated me was the guys. Um, and then also this year motivated me too. You know, like just looking towards the future. Like I know you're supposed to live in the present moment, but it was like, man, the present really sucks right now. Like, yes, I'm at a Power 5 school. Yes, I achieved my dream of being at a Power 5 institution, playing Power 5 ball, but I can't play. You know, so it was just looking toward uh, this year, 2024, was what really, really helped me to um, keep going. Okay, let me see. All right, question 12. Where did you grow up? How many siblings? I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, and I have two siblings. I'm the middle child. I have an older brother, Ashton. He's a mechanical engineer for RTD in Denver, Colorado. Shout out to him. And I have a younger sister, Alexia, the lady behind the, the, the lady that's holding the camera right now, my baby sister. Uh, she's at Tennessee State right now. Uh, full scholarship engineer of some sort. They're both way smarter than me. And I love them to death. Those are my best friends. I'm very, very close to my family. Uh, we're all four years apart. And we just were each other's biggest fans and we cheer each other cheer each other on. And I think that was the uh, best thing that happened during my parents' divorce was us getting really, really close as a family and really, you know, leaning on each other. I think this is question 13. All right. Who was your rock during those trials and tribulations? Definitely my mom, Coach White, Coach Gunner White, Miss Lauren, Coach Mo, Coach Prime. Uh, those, my siblings, of course, like those people definitely during these, these hard times were the ones that really, I just knew that we were going to be there for me. Uh, through everything, through thick and thin, those those are the people that I really counted on um, when things were tough, when things were hard, to just you know be there for me. And I can't thank them enough for being there. You know, I'm just so thankful and grateful for the amazing support I get from everybody in my life each day that are here for me. I can't thank them enough. Question fourteen: What's your favorite meal? Okay, so I've been told I have the pal of a two-year-old, so um, definitely like a double cheeseburger from Whataburger uh, with cheddar cheese. Well, I'm a big cheddar cheese person. I love a double cheeseburger. I love cabbage. I love turnip greens. I really love chicken quesadillas, just like chicken and cheese. Like just none, none of the, none of the, I don't like the onions, none of the exotic. I call it exotic stuff when you put anything on a sandwich or taco or anything that's like besides the meat cheese and like let less is as far as I'll go. I'm not going to put tomatoes. I'm not going to put like, no, that's too much. I love pizza. I really love smothered chicken. Um, I'm a big Piccadilly guy. When I was in Louisiana, I used to go to Piccadilly all the time and like get like their little hot plates with like carrot souffle, turnip greens, and like steak or something like that. Like it just really just depends. Like I love, like I can never go wrong for the cheeseburger. Like Cheeseburgers are just my go-to, um, so I definitely probably have to go with the double cheese, double cheddar cheeseburger. Then honey butter chicken biscuits up there too. I could probably talk about food all day, so yeah, I think we'll end it there. Question fifteen, last question: How did you train during your off period? And then personal, what video game got you into gaming? Also, what game do you play online as single player? Okay, so how did I train during my off period? I'm big into Pilates, uh, my off time. Big into Pilates and doing like body stuff. So a bunch of push-ups, a lot of cardio, jump ropes, running. I love running on the track, getting my two miles in almost every day. 
Um, of course, I'm gonna go to the gym and get a good lift in, bench, squat, all that. But like, I really love body workouts and Pilates is really hard, but that's that's like the one major thing I do is just cause like it stretches everything, make sure that you uh, avoid those soft tissue injuries and helps with the help my body recover. Cause I mean, like, yes, I'm off, but like I'm always working. There's always something I can be working on, being more flexible, uh, doing things to prevent injuries and stuff like that. And okay, what? I'm very self-motivated, so it's kind of like I just kind of think of my workouts on the fly or I'll get with one of my trainers when I'm back home. It just kind of depends on my mood of that day. What video game got you into gaming? Okay, so if I remember correctly, it was Ultimate Spider-Man, which is a 2005 game. You guys can look it up. That's still one of my, like, it's in my top three of video games. Like, that was the game that just my brother and I would play on our original Xbox. It was just blue in the face, and I loved that game to death. And that's the game that really got me into gaming. And it's just, you know, been a projectile shot ever since. Also, what games do you play online? See, I, I haven't really played online much since high school. I don't know. I, I think because I get so frustrated and, like, I was a big slam the remote down kind of person, so with multiplayer, so I kind of had to chill out on that. I'm not, I don't really play online too much. When I did, I was a big Destiny guy, big Call of Duty guy back in the day. Um, which like whatever like my friends were doing on like Xbox Live or PlayStation, whatever they wanted us to like all play together, I would get that. So we played, I played the Division, like stuff like that. Um, single player. I hate sports games. That's another thing. I do not like sports games. You'll never catch me playing 2K or. NBA, and if you do get an exorcist or a call a priest, because I'm not controlling my body. Um, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. Um, Kingdom Hearts, if you know what that is, Borderlands. Um, anything with fantasy, I'm going to play. Like, I'm a big, like, I'm really a big nerd. So, like, anything with fantasy, magic, I'm going to give it a shot. If the story's good, gameplay's good, I'm going to give it a shot. So, Anything with fantasy, magic, RPGs. I'm a big RPG guy. Like, I like the longer narratives, which is kind of crazy because, like, with football, I can't really, um, like, pour too much time into RPGs, but I always find a way. Especially being a night owl. Um, I mean, you know, I'm always up late playing the game. Not, not when football, not in session, no. Not when I'm in season or practice or anything like that. No, I'm very strict. I want to go to bed and get up and stuff like that, but... Like off time, like now I'm probably up to about three, four playing Borderlands, playing Final Fantasy. Just got the platinum on that, got all the trophies on there. Final Fantasy 16. Can't wait for the new Final Fantasy 7 rebirth to come out. Really looking forward to that in February. Um, but yeah, I'm also a big trophy hunter too. Like I love collecting trophies in games. So like that's just like it's single player is just it's relaxing. You know, multiplayer I got focus and. I don't want to, you know, suck and all that stuff. So, like, you know, I, I like my single player. I'm a big single player guy now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate your support. Again, happy new year. Hope you guys have a great holiday and an amazing 2024. I appreciate you. See you guys in the next video.